There's a line early in the film where your character, talking about the occupation of Japan after the dropping of the atom bombs, says, we must be seen as conquerors, not liberators. We must keep the fragile peace or impose it. This seems to echo through a lot of recent American military history, and at that moment the film feels less like a period piece and actually startlingly relevant to our times. Uh, was that part of the appeal for you? I think so. I think that's, um, that's a keen observation, and uh, I'm happy that, yeah, I mean, I feel like the movie obviously takes place in 1945, um, at the close of, uh, of another conflict, but um, hopefully it has elements and hopefully for people that see it and experience the film and pay close attention and sort of um, that they will see parallels and that they will sort of be able to um, make it feel more relevant to some of the things that are going on in the world today and, and some of the roles that certain nations are playing. And yeah, The bombs being dropped is obviously one of the biggest events of human history. I'm presuming at school you were taught from a mostly American perspective. How did making this film make you rethink what you might have already known about the Japanese occupation? Uh, well, I mean, unfortunately, I really feel like, um, for a bunch of different reasons, I feel like for me personally, the, the, jo the Japanese, um, the end of the Japanese-American conflict in World War II was a part of World War II that I knew very, very little about. I mean, other than our use of the atomic bomb for the first time in history was, is something that is obviously very prevalent in, 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 and at the same time I think in American uh, in Americans consciousness we sort of uh, kind of turn a, an eye to that sometimes. I also think that what was going on in Europe uh, in Germany and the Holocaust and the, the, the horror of that is, is something that has dominated most of our consciousness about the end of World War II and the World War II period, what was going on. So I really feel like, for me personally, um, I, this was a moment in history that I knew very, very little about. So uh, it was part of why, when I read the script, and I, I knew that I, if I were to take the project, I would have an opportunity to learn a little bit about this time, um, about the decisions that were made during this time, and how much um, I feel like it's a, a shining moment of American um, sort of diplomacy. and. Uh, helping to rebuild a nation that we um, had conquered. Uh, I, I felt like it was uh, something that was going to be um, a learning experience for me and something that was um, really worthy of, of all of our efforts. Fellas also has a love story in the film. It could have quite easily focused entirely on the military investigation. So what weight do you think the love story brings to this profound decision he has to make? Uh, well, I mean, the love story for me personally, I was really moved by the love story when I read the script, and it was a big reason why um, I was attracted to it, I have to say, you know, sort of on a more of a global concept of the story and of that moment in time and about two nations that have been at war and so many lives lost. To have these two people from those, those, those two cultures uh, ha who fall in love and sort of, uh, it's a... It's an epic love and a love that even though they don't understand each other because they're from different cultures and initially don't really uh, speak the same language. Um, it's just it's this beautiful, pure, epic love. And uh, that was really important to me because, again, I think that um, sort of on a thematical level that has a lot to say about um, human conflict. And so uh, that, that was really important to me um, as far as you know, how it, it obviously has a huge impact on the decision in our film, uh, the decision that, that Fellers ultimately makes. It's the reason why he's given the decision to make in the first place, really. It's the reason why MacArthur would entrust him with this decision. MacArthur's understanding that this man has an understanding about Japanese culture and uh, a desire to make the right decision. Probably He's probably the most well-suited to make this decision. And even though uh, MacArthur may not know the root of that passion, uh, that passion exists. And so I think that that, that love uh, was very important within the context of our film, absolutely. When Fellas is meeting and uh, interrogating, in a way, all these high-ranking Japanese officials who are close to the emperor, the experience for you doing that, it's like watching a series of verbal boxing matches. <laughs> 
So talk about the incredible cast of Japanese actors, and of course working with Tommy Lee Jones, who's fantastic as MacArthur. Yeah. Uh, well, the the working with all the Japanese actors was just a, an enormous. Uh, it was an incredible pleasure, and uh, I feel really honored to have worked with all of them. And um, I've always felt that uh, any time I've been exposed to sort of the Japanese style of acting, it feels to me that they have their own style of carrying themselves in the way that uh, there's a certain stillness and strength, and I think that um, comes from their their theater tradition. But um, I, I was very, it was it was really uh, a challenge, and I felt like I learned a lot, and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, you know, I love working with actors, and it's always, uh, you know, the craft of acting is something that is, um, is oh, it's still to this day fascinating to me, and I think always will be. So, uh, working with Tommy was it was amazing. Uh, you know, I just didn't think there was any actor that was sort of more suited to play MacArthur. Um, and at the same time, I couldn't wait to see what he was going to bring to it because he's such a presence as himself, Tommy Lee Jones, and. Um, you know, he's playing a character that we that that, it, that we know a lot about historically, and has his and, and had his own sort of presence and uh, manifestations of his own ego, and so it was interesting to see. Uh, I was really interested to see how Tommy was going to sort of reconcile those two, and I thought he just did an excellent job.